Gaia came, you know, a little as a surprise because uh, my first goal when I took picture was taking picture for my own personal souvenir. It's when I came back, I started to share those pictures uh, and show them to my friends, my family, and the reaction of those people were pretty good. They were surprised, they were uh, uh, very, uh, they were reacting in a very nicely way. So then I start to verify and validate the uh, technical aspect of those pictures through, uh, with friends of mine who are photographers or professional in the, this environment and they all confirm the great quality of those pictures. So this is really when I start to say, well, listen, maybe there is a project to, uh, to be done. Uh, so we approach uh, Prosper Asselin from the Asselin uh, editing uh, company and uh, he react very very well and then we start to nurture a, a nice little dream which was to create a book uh, based on this picture and this is where uh, Gaia took, uh, took place and uh, got shaped. So for me it was a very interesting creative process, uh, very different than the process, uh, the creative process at Cirque du Soleil. It was a great personal experience, I worked on it over a year and uh, I think the result is great because it's a great picture and uh, also it will serve a great purpose. You know, taking picture from space is already a, a very interesting uh, experience. Uh, first, you, you go around the world at 25,000 kilometers, you work toward a little small window. You have to learn how to uh, uh, take position in the whitelessness. Uh, but it's also very easy because all your equipment uh, weight nothing, so it's actually very easy to maneuver. But the big challenge is to be able to aim, target your, your uh, subject or the, the, the environment you want to take a picture with and very frame it in a very good way. And I guess this is where uh, my artistic eyes really help me because I'm a very precise person, so when I was seeing my subject coming, I was able to frame it well. And also, I would say the other thing is the way and the spirit in which I was taking those pictures. Uh, it was a little bit like when I was a kid, looking at the cloud, uh, watching, trying to find the uh, uh, characters, animal shapes. So it was basically the reverse situation. I was looking at or trying to find those shapes and, and organic shapes and uh, structural shapes uh, toward the uh, my camera and actually uh, I guess at the end it was very intuitive uh, but with a background of, of, of artistic precision uh, again without pretension because I'm not a photographer uh, but I guess all my artistic background really helped me to organize that and it was a funny situation also because the first couple of days you know in order to organize myself to take this picture uh, I was bumping on the side of the station and getting in a very awkward uh, position. Uh, I ended up laughing a couple of times and even having the, the rest of the crew laughing at me the way I was taking the picture. But at the end, I think the result are there and I'm very happy and pleased about what now it's delivered to Gaia as well. Everything that I live as an experience impressed me or touched me in a certain way, you know. Uh, it, it, it was a total global, great, Experience, but I think there was one specific moment that was really deep touching for me. Uh, and I remember exactly it was at night, everybody was sleeping, uh, and I was watching through the window without my camera, without thinking about my poetic social mission, and just looking at Earth. And suddenly I start to look at Earth in perspective uh, of the universe that I was looking at. It was dark, uh, many stars, uh, infinite darkness. And then I suddenly realized how fragile Earth was uh, being protected by that very teeny membrane. Um, and then you realize how fragile Earth is. And a couple minutes after, I uh, shift my look toward Earth by itself in comparison with the humankind. And then I start to realize how powerful this planet is. Uh, it's been there for millions of years. Uh, I saw a volcano erupting. Uh, storm information, cloud moving fast in a certain very strong way and then I realized how fragile humankind is in regard of planet Earth. So it was very very 
strong opposing uh, uh, contrast uh, image and emotional uh, uh, moment for me. So this this probably was a very uh, I consider it one of the top my my top line of, of emotion that I lived in. I think Gaia is a very important project in many aspects for uh, one drop. Uh, first of all. We're experimenting with the uh, new way uh, to raise money for one drop. You know, all royalties, all profit of this book will uh, will, will go directly to one drop. But it's also an important tool to communicate also uh, toward the people, the population, the planet Earth. Um, beautiful image uh, of planet Earth. You know, there's some text, also poem that I I created from greater people than me uh, that wrote amazing things about Earth. Uh, and uh, I think the combination of those pictures and those words uh, hopefully will inspire people to uh, take care of, uh, of this planet in a better way. So it is very important. Uh, uh, and hopefully it will give uh, a great experience to one drop to use creativity uh, toward communicating things, but also to raise money for one drop. So, as a full package, I think this is a very, very important uh, project for one drop. I don't think it changed me because I am what I am. Uh, I was being very attached to nature, to uh, uh, Earth, and the beauty of this planet. I've been traveling all my life, uh, trying to discover some new place on this planet. Uh, uh, but it did reinforce my conviction that uh, this planet is beautiful and you know for me it is the uh, it is the closest I've seen of paradise so uh, it just like reconfirmed me uh, the importance of my dedication to uh, try to work toward a better world and uh, it just gave me a lot of juice uh, when I came back to continue this mission.